Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, can you listen to me? Good evening, good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. Uh, okay, good to, good to see you here. Hi, teacher. Hello, 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 good William. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening to everybody. Don't forget to activate your camera. That is quite important for everybody. Hey, I'm sorry because I got into the session like 12 min minutes after nine. But as I told you in the chat, in the WhatsApp group, I, I faced some problems, okay? Because over here it's been raining so heavily and it, I don't know, but it, 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 it caused uh, some problems to me. Well, hopefully we're gonna have a, a great time together. We're gonna learn, we're gonna practice what we have been studying lately about simple past tense and all the stuff. And uh, I hope um, we, we can take advantage of them. We're going to have some review. We're gonna start with it. Then we're gonna see something related to uh, the the simple pass of the verb to be, among other things. Teacher, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, Ahora me, me dijeron que el, el nuevo curso comienza el lunes a la misma hora, pero usted nos dijo que el lunes íbamos a tener clase también para reponer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces no sé cómo vamos a hacer en ese caso. Uh, okay. me, llamaron de, me llamaron de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, que el nuevo curso comenzaba ya el, el lunes. En el mismo horario. En el mismo horario. Entonces, no sé, no sé si yo entendí mal o, 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 o cómo es la cosa. Para que usted pueda ahí chequear. Ok. Uh, yo voy a preguntar, Roxana, gracias por decírmelo, porque si realmente, pues, eh, esperaría que lográramos eh, cerrar con recuperar la, la hora que... Que, que perdimos, ¿verdad? En, en la, por cuestiones de, de, de las inclemencias del, del clima. Ajá. Pero este, um, déjenme preguntar y eh, yo les escribo en el grupo. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> ok, I just want to get to the. <laughs> to the previous class, to have some review. Okay, so so here, so yesterday we asked uh, some questions, okay? Yes, no questions, right? So we talked about it. We saw the way we used the auxiliary did. We completed some exercises. We talked about vacation time, and it was quite interesting, right? And I remember we saw this information also regarding to some some stories okay the stories were about Robert Erin and uh, 
Who was the other lady? Do you remember about her name? Do you remember about her name? Uh, um, Erin? Erin, oh. let me see. It's because we're going to have some review about it tonight. And I have the, the their names here. Ah, that was Kelly, right? Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Erin. Okay, so this was like the last part about yesterday. But over here, well, we're going to see some... Some exercises so, so that we can have like a general review on a simple question because um we need to go over it. I mean, we have been studying or we have been practicing about simple fast, but also uh you know we have like different different verbs, a lot of verbs and a lot of expression that we need to practice. For example, I have this conversation between Laura and Erica. And now, tell me where you see simple past form. Díganme dónde ven expresiones en pasado, por favor. Hello, hello. If you, did you go anywhere? My sister and I, I went to Arizona. Okay, did you go is the first? Uh -huh. did, you? did you go is the first expression in the past? Uh -huh. Now, in, in, in the Erica's part? Uh, yes, my I did. Dear, I, and I went to Arizona. Yes, I did. Very good. And Roxana, you mentioned something about Arizona, right? Yes. I went to Arizona. I went to Arizona. Very good. Now, what else do you see there? We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the Grand, the Grand Canyon. Canyon. All right, we saw. Very good. What else do you see in simple platform? Did you like? Hey, do you like it? Hey, do you like it? What kind of question is this one? Hey, we saw. Yeah. It's a just no question, right? You say yes, I I did or no, I did. How? What else? We love it. We love hey, it. We loved it. We loved it. What else? Did you go? Did you go? Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? What else? No. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we we rode horses. We rode horses. We rode horses. Uh huh. And we also went white water. On we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you have fun? Did you have fun? fun? Did you have hey. fun? Did you have fun? Hey, do you have fun there? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. We, did. we did. Yes, we did. We had a great time. We had a great we had, time. We had, we had a great time. We had a great time. Good. So, what if I, if I ask you, uh, uh, or I, uh, I ask you to make the sentences in the negative form. Hey, did you go anywhere last summer? ¿Cómo harían, digamos, con esta información, cómo la harían negativa? You didn't. You didn't. You didn't go anywhere last summer. You didn't go anywhere. Last summer? Uh, you didn't go anywhere last summer. Good. Now, I went to Arizona. Negative. No, I didn't. No, okay, no, I didn't. Over oh. here, I, I went to Arizona. Negative. Okay. I didn't you went, went to Arizona. Arizona? I, now, no, yeah. I didn't go to Arizona. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I remember that the verb needs to be in the base yes. form, right? Yes. I I didn't go. 
I didn't, I didn't go, go right to Arizona. I didn't go, yes. Now, did you like it? Oh, no, let me see. We saw the Grand Canyon. Negative. Did we see the Grand Canyon? No. We didn't see the Grand Canyon. If you say we didn't saw? We the Grand Canyon. We did it. So we didn't see. 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 We didn't see the Grand Canyon. We didn't see, right? The Green Canyon. Now, uh, did you like it? Negative. Uh, the the you didn't like it. You didn't like it, right? Like you didn't like it. Like you didn't it. Like you didn't like it. Now we loved it. We didn't love it. We didn't love it. We didn't love it. We didn't love it. Good. We didn't love it. I, I don't know. No sé si mi micrófono está interfiriendo o. Ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, we, we didn't love it. Did you go hiking there? You didn't. We didn't go hiking there. You didn't go hiking there. We rode horses. Uh, we didn't ride horses. We didn't ride horses. Excellent. We didn't ride horses, horses. right? Yes. Excellent. We went uh, white water rafting. We, we didn't. We didn't go white water rafting. We didn't go white water rafting. Okay, did you have fun? You didn't, you have, didn't, you didn't have, have fun. You didn't we, have fun. We didn't. had, okay, we had a great time. You, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have, have, have a great time. A great time. We didn't have. Has. No, no. We didn't have. Have. We didn't have a great time. Okay. Any questions about this exercise? No. No. All right. So this is a, this is some review. You already know about this, right? So we were talking about we were having um we were talking about the auxiliary D. The, we said that we use did when we want to create questions and we notice about uh, the way we use the verb when uh, having questions or when having negative statements, okay? And we discovered that it's uh, really important to use the auxiliary did. Positive statement, I mean, questions, sorry, and negative statements, okay. We also studied like oh we created some 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 exercises like the one that's over here we we saw some exercises and I have for example hey do you have a good summer yes do me a favor to complete it please yes I did yes uh, I did uh huh I had I had a great a great summer. I just relax. 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 Uh, is this regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. So, si es regular, termina en ed. Relax. ¿Sí no? Yes. ¿Cómo suena esta ed? Relax. 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 Mm, Algunos se les ha olvidado. ¿Cómo pronunciamos? Es que suena como T. Relax. 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 Ok. Mm. 
Okay, so we have relax. Relax. Over here, number two, you go anywhere last summer? Did you go? Did you go? Anywhere last summer? Did you go? Go anywhere? Anywhere last summer? No. I didn't. I didn't. I. I didn't. I stayed. I stayed. I stayed here. I stayed here. Here. But my friends visited me. Visited me. Visited. Visited me. Visited me. And on the weekends we we went. We went, we, out. Went out. we went out. We went out. Um, <coughs> a lot. We went out a lot. Hey, did you take my, any classes last summer? Did you? Did you take? <coughs> did, did. You take did you take? Did you take any yes. classes last summer? Did you take any classes last summer? Yes. Yes, I, I did. did. Yes, I did. I, I, did. I, 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 did. Took, I took. I took. Yes, I did. I took tennis took, lessons. I took, I took, I took tennis lessons. I played. And I played the tennis every day. And I played tennis every day. Uh, give me a played. second. Yeah, oops. Well, and I played tennis every day. Played. 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 Tennis every day. All right. So I think there is another one there. Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you complete this one? You speak English last summer? Did you? Do you speak, speak English last English. summer? No, I didn't. I didn't, but but I read. <laughs> I read. No, read, read, but read I read English book and, and I and I watch watch English, English movies. Excellent. So that's. I, I really I really like this uh, review. And also yesterday we were talking about some expression like go hiking, go swimming, have. Have what? Have um fun, have fun. Have fun. Hmm? Meet all friends. Meet all friends, good. Uh, play uh, tennis. Play tennis. Take pictures. Take pictures. Um, Excited, all right. So we were we were like uh, trying to use this vocabulary in the vacation time activity I told you, right? So you presented the activity. Uh, the activities you did in, during vacation time. Okay, so there, there were some uh, there are some expressions like hey, uh, ¿cómo crearían una pregunta con esta? Did you go? Did you go anywhere in in Thursday? Thirst, Excellent. Hey, did you go anywhere interesting? What about this one? Did you eat any new foods? Did you eat any new foods? All right. Meet any interesting people? Did you meet any interesting people? 
exercise or play any sports? Did you exercise, Did you exercise or, play or play any sport? Did you work? Did you work? Did you work? Excellent. So uh, that's that's exactly what uh, I tried to teach yesterday, and I can see that you learned it uh, pretty well. Now, let me see, it's because I need to, ah, it's, it's, this is a part that I wanted you to read. We're going to try to to finish it, okay? And then we're going to see the, the path of the verb to be. And we're going to be like doing some, uh, I will give you some time for you to present your uh, bio, your autobiography, okay? Because I consider it's important for you to put into practice what we have been studying so far. So can somebody help me to read this part? Yes. Thank you. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. And I really like her husband. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind because later you are going to solve some exercises about it. For example, Kelly got married. No, it was Kelly's friend, the one who got married. So we, we are going to be in charge of correcting the, steam, the sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, Robert, what can you tell me about Robert? No, teacher. Thank you. I have, I have an awful weekend. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took the house, the hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got out. We finally got finally got hot good got home at them this morning. I am so tired. Excellent. Thank you so so much. Let's listen about Erin. Mr. Okay, Shuana, go ahead. I had a Mr. Teen weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friend took me. We arrived on the survey and drove, drove to the comp composite. First, we put up the friend in the tent. Then we built a fire cut the dinner and told the stories, got up the early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Good. So let us try to remember. Kelly got married? Uh-uh. No, she didn't get married, right? So who got married? Helen. 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 Okay, Helen. that's why it says no. Kelly's best friend got married. What's Kelly's best friend name? It's Helen, right? So yeah. it's number two. Helen got married in a church. No. Where did she get married? In her house. Ah, she got married at home. At home. At she home. Got at home. Now, after the wedding, everyone went out to eat. The, the wedding? After the wedding, after it says after the wedding, after, uh -huh. everyone her, went out to eat. Her, her parents served a wonderful meal. Okay, serve a wonderful meal. So, is it true or false? It's true. It's everyone went. Went out. It is false. It is false, right? 
Because yeah. actually, uh, her parents have a wonderful meal there. They didn't yeah. need to go out. Yeah. Okay. So Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. Now this is about about this, about this guy. Is with with his friends. With his friends. Yes. Okay. So Robert went to a concert with his friends, not friends. with his parents. Number yes. five. It took three hours to get home after the concert. It took three hours to get home after the concert. It, it took three hours to drive there. Uh-huh. So true or false? Uh, it took three hours mm -hmm. to get after the concert. It is false, right? False. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he says that it took three hours to drive there. Right. I didn't like the music. Oh, so it's Mm -hmm. three hours right so yeah. robert got home at 10 o'clock last night no it's what four. it's four. Four. It's what 10 10 this morning 10 in the morning mm -hmm. robert got uh, okay Erin. now let's let's continue with Erin. Erin goes camping every weekend. No, no. Uh -huh. This weekend. It's uh, the first time. Yeah, because she said, eh, I went camping for the first time. First so time. it is not like that, right? So because over here it says that, that she who goes camping every weekend. That is not true. Erin and her friends went fishing on Saturday. Yeah, maybe in Sunday. Uh-huh, Sunday. Ah, okay, so they went fishing on Sunday. Sunday. They went fishing on Sunday. Now, Erin liked camping a lot. Mm. No, she didn't like it. She didn't really like camping, right? So very good, people. I really like the way you you work. Now we're gonna stop over here, and before getting into the other topic, I I really need you need to listen to you about about the biography and autobiography. Necesito escuchar los con respecto a la tarea que les asigné. Okay, let's start with some people. And let's start with Jenny Guadalupe. Ah, let me see. Tengo, tengo un, 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 alguien, un voluntario. Roxana. Okay. Okay, Roxana. Uh, eh, is the bi bi biography of Alberto Macferrer. Vicente Alberto Masferrer Mónico was one of the most outstanding writers who had El Salvador throughout the history. Alberto Mas Ferrer was born in the year of 1868 in the town of Tecapa, today called City Alegría, in the department of Usulután. Mas Ferrer lived in several Central American capitals and during Chile, New York, and Europe. He was also consul in San Jose de Costa Rica and Belgium. Mas Ferrer was a somewhat controversial due to their reformist ideas, quite different to what it was customary in his time and his participation in the political sphere. He was a teacher, journalist, essayist, and a writer who, who, who managed 
to touch several genres that made him earn the respect and admiration on the majority of Salvadorians of this century as Claudia Lars, Miguel Angel Espino, Salarue, Arturo Ambrogi, writers and intellectuals. Books and mass, ferria, mass ferreriana ideology were considered communist thinking and mass ferrer fearing for his life. Auto expatrio in 1932. That the same year on 8 September, Alberto Mas Ferrer dies alone in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was interesting information. Oh, okay. Very like it. Really like it. Uh, Jenny Guadalupe? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, Jenny. Uh, auto, auto biography. My name is Jenny Martinez. Uh, I was born in June 30th, 1993, in Napopa City at home. Shortly after I was born, we went to live in Sonsonate with my paternal grandmother because my mother left me with my father when I was six months old. When I was five years old, my grandmother died and we returned to live in Apopa City. I was the only child on my dad's side and he dedicated uh, all his time to me. Fantastic, great team for uh, okay. Jenny? Uh, and I lived there until I got pregnant at the age of 18 and went to live with my partner in Quesaltepeque. We had three children. Christian was born in 2011. Adrian was born in 2016 and Toby was born in 2018. The pandemic time was very bad for me. Since I am someone very attached to my family. So when the pandemic ended, I spoke with my partner about going to live near the, fam the family. And this year in June, we returned to live in the Apopa city, very close to my family. Wow. Great job. That's about your autobiography. Thank you. William Alfredo. Hello, hello, William, are you there? Hello. Hello. Um, biography de Nelson Mandela. Well, Nelson Mandela was born in South Africa, July 18, 1918. He was a political activist who led the movement against racism and that often a long fit and 27 years and pressure. He presided over the field government in 1994 that put end to the racist regime. He was a lawyer by profession, won the Nobel Prize in 1993. Yet on December 5, 5, That was it, William? Hasta ahí nomás. 
Excellent. Thank you, William. Thank you for doing, for doing your best effort. Thank you very much. So let's try with uh, Swanee. Swanee. Yes. Uh, okay, it's funny. Let us know about what you got. Yes, Johnny Depp was born on June 9th uh, in Kentucky, United States. He's an American actor, film producer, and musician. He has been nominated for an Oscar three times and um, received a uh, one glove. Uh, that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Tony. Uh, Stephanie, you have the opportunity now. Hi. Hi, yeah. teacher. Hi. In La Biografía de Alfredo Espino. Alfredo Espino was a poet from El Salvador, grown in Awashapan. His only book is Hicaras Tristes, Sad Veseles. A collection of uh, 90, 96 uh, poems. It is one of the most published books of property in El Salvador. Espino did in San Salvador has poetry has been distributed as part of the Salva Salvadora development of costumbrismo. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Great info. Okay, Sylvia Campos. Um, well, Sylvia, Sylvia, are you there? Let us try this. Rosa. Hello, Rosa Feliciana. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. My Arab bi biographer. My name is Rosa Argueta. I was born on October 23rd of 1987 from La Esparta, La Union, where I lived in time. I was 12 years old. From there, I moved to the city of San Miguel to work for to help my mother economically. I am 50 daughter and the first family. And even thought when I was teenager, I left my studies for to work. When I was 18 years old, I decided to resume my studies and, ha and that is how I obtained my high school degree. It wasn't easy, but I did it. That's it, teacher. Hey, I really like that expression. It was not uh, easy, but I did it. <laughs> that was really good. Congratulations. Hey, Alex, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, my biography is the Desmond Dos is a soldier uh, of the United States. Um, Doss was born in Lynchburg, Virginia, son of William Thomas Doss and Carpenter and Bertha e. Doss. Desmond Doss enlisted in, a, in April 1942, but refused to kill or carry a weapon into combat because to, of his personal belief as a 70 day Adventist. He consequently became a medic and will serve in the Pacific theater of World War II. He helped, he helped his country be saving the life of his race at the same time 
adhering to he, his religious convicted. That was wounded three times during the war and shortly before leaving the army, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Which caused him a long discharge from the army in 1946. He spent five years on the ground. Medical treatment for his injuries and illness. Desmond Desmondos died in 2006 at his home in Piedmont, Alabama, after being hospital, hospitalized for breaking troubles the same day as another Medal of Honor recipient David Black. He was buried in Catanoga, Tennessee National Cemetery. Thank you very much. Hey, listen, we're going to make a pause. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Seguimos mañana con uh, las participaciones porque todavía quedan algunos eh, pendientes. No se preocupen que vamos a tener mañana un espacio para continuar con la biografía o autobiografía. Well, let me see. I need to introduce... Uh, the topic about the past form of the verb to be. As you can see, we, we are in the last part, in the last session. Then you need to work in the exam, the final exam, so that you can finish by doing your best effort. Now here, we are going to study a little about simple parts of the verb be. Um, statements with, I mean, positive or negative statements with it. Let us take a look at this, please. B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. Korea. This is a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Now, let us take a look Let's at it. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, 
we and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns, I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First we need to add the subject they. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement in the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. We can follow this form. All right, so you could notice about about the way uh, we use the verb to be in the past form. And actually, the guy explained that there are only how many forms do we have? We have was, and also we have where, where was in where. And if I say I. Was. I was. You were. You were. He was. He, he were. He was. was. She. She was. Was it? Was. Oops. It was. We. Where? Where? You. Where? You were. Where? And they? Where? They were. Okay, so this is actually the verb to be in the past form. It's very simple, right? It is very simple, but uh, as you can see, we can have it like Uh, in in positive statements, I was, you were, she was, uh, we were, and they were. But we also have it in the negative form. I wasn't, you weren't, she wasn't, we weren't, they weren't. And also we have them in the in the interrogative form. Okay, so wasn't is the same as saying was not, and weren't is the same as saying. Where that? 
Okay. And um, well, I'm really happy because when I when I hear your presentation, I could notice that you actually were using the the verb to be in the past form. We're gonna we're gonna have some exercises now about it. And I have, for example, here, my family and I, we need to complete by using what's of where, right? What's of where? What's a boy in South Korea? Uh, well, someone said was Family and I were all. <coughs> where? What? Where? 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 Uh huh. Some people say was, some other people say where. Where? 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 I will clarify. Uh, I yes, what? Algunos? Let me see. Yes. Yes. Um, tengo mi familia. My family and I. Y yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where. where? Okay. Where is the answer there? My family and I were. We're, we're all born in South Korea. Number two. Weren't. Weren't. We. Weren't. We weren't born weren't. in the USA. I I was where was I was was I was born in the city of I was born in the city of Incheon and my brother was born there too. My parents weren't weren't born in Incheon. They 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 were they were born in the capital of Seoul. In South Korea, my father was. was. My father was a businessman. Let us see the answers. Okay. Where? Weren't. Was. My parents weren't. They were. And my father was. Simple like that. So let me see. I will the past of the verb be. So we, we still need to go over some double H questions. Okay, but if, I mean, I think we will continue with it later. I will stop sharing. I will check a little payment. And then uh, we're gonna have some review about what happened tonight. List attendance, people. Abigail? Abigail, are you there? Okay, Abigail, Abigail, not there. Ana Maria. Ana Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Ana Maria Emily. Present teacher. Carlos David. 
Daniel Alejandra. Present teacher. Diana Saray. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Emma Débora. Present. Ah, Emma Débora, Débora is with you. Hello. Eva Margarita. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriel. Ah, Eva Margarita is over here. Ah, Gabriela Lisset. Present. Jacqueline Janet. Present. Joanna. Present. Carla Olivia. Present. Olivia. Uh, uh, okay. That's Present. Uh, okay. <laughs> Melissa Giselle. Present. Okay. Uh, Raul. I'm Alex. here, teacher. Very good, Raul. Uh, Rosa Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Okay. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana. Present, teacher. Ruth Noemi. Ruth Noemi. Zaira. Notice. There, right? Eh, Sara Vanessa. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present, teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie Carolina. Present. Ah, Stephanie Carolina, sí. Eh, Swani. Present. Wilder. Present. William Vladimir. Present. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Jancy. Present. And Jenny Guadalupe. So Jenny Guadalupe. Okay. Now. Let me try to finish this session by saying the following. Uh, Emma, Deborah, give me a second. Emma. Okay. Now, listen. Uh, bueno, ahora que los estaba escuchando con su presentación, me di cuenta que están eh, logrando objetivos, ¿verdad? Con pasado simple tenemos prácticamente toda la semana de, estarlo, de haberlo estado estudiando. Mañana continuamos todavía con, con el tema. Pero algo que sí quiero dejarles muy claro es que en inglés, si nosotros vemos, por ejemplo, un, un tema... En este caso, pasado simple, no es que nosotros ya demos por, por terminado este, el tema en sí. Recordemos que hay muchos verbos que se nos quedan fuera, eh, listados que debemos estudiar, pronunciación que debemos reafirmar, entre otras cosas. Pues simple y sencillamente. Ah, ok, Jen ah, okay Jenny. Ahorita lo chequeo, Jenny. Gracias por Jenny Guadalupe. Ok. Hello. Hello. Perdón, no sé si a mí también me escuchó. Ana García. Permítame. Ana García, sí. Permítame. Sí. El número dos. Sí, sí. sí Ana García, no se preocupe. Sí. Ok. Y yo, Guatón. Lo que yo les quiero este. Eh, les quiero dejar como muy, muy claro es que cuando ustedes pasen un, un tema, cuando estudien un tema, eh, quiero que queden sus mentecitas este, eso. ¿Será que hay más que estudiar? Porque ya estudiaron presente simple, ahora estudiaron pasado simple. Vimos la estructura con DIR cuando es negativo, cuando es pregunta, 
y vimos los verbos regulares con sus tres pronunciaciones y los verbos irregulares. Pero eh, la estructura seguramente ya la manejan, pero hay que manejar mm, mucho vocabulario en inglés. Mientras más vocabulario tengamos, mejor vamos a poder expresarnos en inglés. Uh, es como una tarea que a mí me gusta decirle a los, a los participantes, que es como una tarea de, um, de siempre, ¿verdad? de todos los días, aprender el vocabulario, pronunciación, verbos, eh, estructuras, frases, para que así su, su segundo idioma eh, se vaya formando con muchas más bondades. ¿Ok? So, Uh, no sé si hay preguntas o algo que quieran este, compartir. Si no, pues nos vemos el día de mañana, ¿les parece? Ok, teacher. Ok, so let's see tomorrow, people. Okay, see you. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ana, Ana. Hola, hola. Ana, hola. Mire, ¿y a usted no le llamaron ahora de inglés corporativo? No, no me han llamado. Es que fíjense que a mí sí me llamaron y, y me sí. dijeron que, que, que el curso comenzaba, ¿verdad? Ya el, el, el lunes. El lunes, ajá. Sí, es su comentario. ¿Cómo? Escuché su comentario, le digo, pero en realidad a mí no me llamaron. Y a ver qué solución era el teacher también. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hay que esperar a ver qué tal, ¿verdad? Y ojalá no me dejen fuera. No, yo creo que no. Me sí. imagino que en el transcurso de, de la semana le van a seguir llamando a la gente, ¿verdad? Sí, esperemos que sí sea. Uh -huh. Vaya, uh -huh. ojalá sigamos juntas. Ojalá que sí, nos seguimos viendo. Sí, cuídese, buenas noches. Gracias, igualmente, buenas noches. Gracias. Hasta pronto.